I wish I'd had more opportunities to work with Clint Eastwood, but I was really lucky to be the still photographer on In the Line of Fire, which is a story about an over-the-hill aged Secret Service man on the President's Detail, directed by Wolfgang Peterson. Wolfgang came over to me and introduced himself and said, the image I have for the poster for the movie is a photo of Clint running alongside the presidential limousine, out of breath, over the hill, and trying to keep up with all the young guys. And that's the image that I see for this movie. But he said, we haven't even started filming, so who knows? So I walked across the street the closer I got to Clint Eastwood, who I've, I saw in many movies before that, and he is Dirty Harry. He is one intimidating guy. I got within a few feet, and I said, Clint, <laughs> my name's Bruce. I'm the still photographer on the show. I said, okay, and they said, well, we got to roll the cameras. He ran forwards with the, all the rest of the guys in the motorcade, and I'm backpedaling, trying to shoot with two cameras around my neck, several blocks down Pennsylvania Avenue, while trying to stay out of the movie camera, working with pretty long lenses. They wrapped the movie in Hollywood, and I got a phone call from one of the art directors. He said, we picked frame 17 of roll number one that you shot back in DC of Clint Eastwood, and we've showed it to everybody, everybody loves it. And everybody said, don't retouch it, don't Photoshop it. We are printing your pure image that you shot in the first roll the first day. I was really proud of that because I got what the director had, his vision, and I did it without anybody messing with the image. And I love it when that happens.